Um, we are running out of time, but I'm trying to get through as many questions as we can. The question which has been raised is with regard to Valentine's Day, which falls on the 14th of February. And the question is Misha Collins from the USA. Thank you for your question, Misha. And she says, I would be grateful if my question could be answered. Um, are Ahmadis allowed to celebrate Valentine's Day? Um, so obviously Valentine's Day is this, um, the essence of which is really uh, uh, showing one's affection to, towards one's loved ones. Uh, typically towards you know, a husband to a wife or a wife to a husband. And this day is often used in the West as a, as a method of, of uh, expressing that affection. Um, obviously, Islam does not encourage one to show affection towards one's loved ones, and that is something that's, that is essential to Islam. But Islam doesn't attribute a particular day on which that is to be done, but in fact, it should be a continuous thing. Dosa, perhaps we can very briefly just go into what Valentine's Day historically has been mm. and, and, and what it is now. It, it, origins are not quite clear, but it is, it's felt that uh, it dates from pre-Christian times, from uh, ancient Rome, that this was a fertility festival, 13th, 14th and 15th of February, called Lupercalia. But later on, there are two uh, martyrdoms in Christianity, both with the name of Valentine. Um, in, the, in 289, uh, Valentine of Rome was martyred, uh, and he used to carry out secret marriages um, against the wishes of the emperor of the time. Uh, and it was um, later, in 496, that the then Pope, Gelasius, he declared that this was, 14th of February was be a St. Valentine's Day, a Christian feast day. Um, so his, historians feel that he perhaps merged it with the pagan festival so that uh, it would be appeasing to them, to them as well. It's become very much more commercialized, as you know, in the in, in mid-80s and the sta figures are staggering as to what is spent. In, in 2009, Valentine itself generated uh, sort of 14.7 billion dollars, 9.2 billion pounds in retail sales, and this is in US alone. So it's become a very much commercial um, sort of activity, and, but it seems to be have links, although with the pre-Christian time, but with the uh, uh, Pope uh, in, in Rome in 496, having declared it as a Christian feast, that is perhaps why Muslims obviously should stay clear from that. And uh, a token of love, as you have said, should always be given to your loved ones and not only on a, on a particular day as such. So this is the history of what Valentine's Day perhaps is. So far as you know, the spirit, uh, yeah, this uh, a central idea of this is to express one's love and uh, feelings of aff aff affection for other people, nothing wrong with that one. But I think rightly that to celebrate a day which is a Christian background and uh, followed by the Western nations, that is not correct. Just like we don't celebrate Christmas, but we have all the regard for Jesus Christ and we respect him very much. Jazakallah to both of our uh, panel, Dr. Zayed Khan Sahib, Imam Dal Mujib Rashid Sahib, thank you again for your time and thank you to the viewers um, for your questions. Um, Again, a reminder, we do encourage your questions. Please send them in by email, and the email is faithmatters at mta.tv, or if you prefer to fax, the fax number is plus four four two zero eight six eight seven eight zero three seven. All that remains for me to do is thank the panel and thank, the, thank you, the viewers. Inshallah, we will meet again soon. Jazakallah and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.